Assalamu alaikum. Hello, viewers. I am Yusuf from 5 Minutes Information Channel. I welcome you all. This is episode number 90, Resource Sharing Part 2. Viewer guidance, you can get the notes of this video lecture mentioned link on this video description. Before going to this discussion, I just mentioned you. With a large amount of production of electronic journals, e-contents, and other information sources. It is very difficult to manage and acquire all the information sources for library users with the limited, with the limited funding resources and budget. Resource sharing is the key idea to overcome this situation. This video is briefly discussed about the methods of resource sharing. In this video, I will talk about Three main points. Number one, what is resource sharing? Point number two, what are the resources available in libraries for sharing? Point number three, what are the different methods of resource sharing in libraries? Now come to the point number one, what is resource sharing? Resource sharing, resource sharing means making the collection of one library available to the patrons of another library efficiently and effectively. Resource sharing encompasses the technical capabilities, staff expertise, and policies necessary to achieve that objective. Resource sharing, incorporate, resource sharing incorporates activities related to automated discoveries tool, automated discovery tools, including bibliographic library database, collection management, bibliographic description, delivery, interlibrary loan, reciprocal access, and reciprocal borrowings. Resource sharing is a core system service for the library users. Point number two, what are the resources available in the libraries? There are three main resources are available in the library. Number one, collection. Number two, funds or budget. And number three, human resource. Point number one, library collection. Physical and online. Both collection are used for the resource sharing in the libraries through interlibrary loan, document delivery, and exchange of publication. Point number two, Library funds or budget. Library funds and budgets are also used for the library resource sharing, like consortium and specialized purchase program are the example of resource sharing through library funds and budget. Point number point number three, human resource. Human resources are also shared in library resource sharing regarding the library training, technology, and special assignment like library workshop and other tasks, human resources are being shared among the libraries. Point number three, what are the different methods of resource sharing available in libraries? There are different eight methods are available for resource sharing among the libraries. Number one, interlibrary loan. Number two, document delivery. Number three, cooperative acquisition. Number four, library consortium. Number fifth, exchange of publication. Number six, a specialized purchase program. Number seven, shared catalog. Number eight, sharing of bibliographical data. Each methods are described here one by one. Number one, interlibrary loan. Interlibrary loan. Interlibrary loan is a process by which a library request material from or supply material to another library. Number two, document delivery or document supply. Document delivery service that obtains for a specified user, copies of articles and book chapters needed for a library patron shared to another 
shared to other library. Number three, cooperative acquisition program or agreement is open to any library or research institution that would to be acquire publication from any library or libraries. Number four, library consortium. Library consortium is any cooperative association of libraries that coordinates resources or activities on behalf of its member, whether they are a school, public, academic, special libraries, or any other information center. And number fifth, exchange of publication. Exchange of publication is also a way of resource sharing where one library share its publication to one or more libraries. Usually research journals, newsletters and reports are sharing in the exchange of publication programs. Number six, special purchasing program. A special purchase program, library purchase, library collection or material with other library in the collection in collection development like purchase of databases electronic resources are used in a special purchase program number seven shared catalog libraries are also doing resource sharing through shared catalog shared catalog help libraries to avoid the library duplication Point number eight, sharing of bibliographical data. Some library shared bibliographical data to other libraries on the basis of bibliographical data. Resources are requested. That's end of the episode number 90. I hope we were, you understand what is resource sharing and what are the different types of resources available in the libraries. And what are the popular methods used for the resource? Please comment about this video and don't forget like and subscribe my channel 5 minutes in front. Thanks for watching. Till the end.